Greetings and welcome back once again to Marco being dead in, of course, this war of mine. Brave Marco has best. Whoa, really? Ah, damn, I had no idea that that was the case. Or maybe I did, but forgot. But uh, it seems that Bruno is starting to feel a bit unwell. It, perhaps it, it, there are random events, really, that kick in at times like that. But. Uh, well, come on then, everyone. Let's get you all downstairs. Let's get you some food, and then we'll send you off to bed. Bruno, you're going to take some herbal meds before you go. Uh, I wasn't sure whether I was going to be coming back to this game quite as quickly as I did, but I decided, you know what, when, when tragedy strikes, the, the best thing you can do is just get back on your feet, dust off your knees, and uh, continue on. It's what Marco would have wanted. Right, let's uh, get everyone down there. Get some, get some sleep for now. We will take care of everything else in a moment. Marin, you can load the water. Actually, we've still got one thing there, but uh, yes, everyone is going to be sad, unfortunately. Ha uh, Marin, Marco didn't make it back alive. I will miss his company. It seems their bios have changed. Pavle, oh Marco, we have to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. That is the same as the last one. And uh, let's have a look at you. Uh, we'd share some food with those hungry kids. If only we had any left. Marco was killed last night. I'm glad it wasn't me. I have to be careful. Yeah, that's pretty much the same that everyone had. Now, do we have filters is the question. We have one, so we need another two. Do we have the materials for it? We do not. Well, that's just the way it's going to have to be. Do we have any fuel? Yes, we do. Okay, let's uh, get some fuel on there. We'll also load up one of the uh, water filters. There we go. And we'll also get this food. And then you're off to bed, Marin. It is a bit too early for you to be knocking around. We need to get everyone to full health because this is going to be even more important now. With only three survivors... I've got a feeling that protecting from raids is going to be much harder. Up to now, we've been remarkably fortunate in that I think just having three people all armed was enough to overwhelm any potential attackers. Ah, traitor as well. Damn it, so much to do. So little time. Uh, to kill like that, what a waste of life. Indeed, indeed. But let's see if we have not got enough water. Ah, that's, that's it. Crying shame. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of fertilizer. Go ahead. Then we'll quickly go in there uh, and to the door. Hopefully, once that's ready, we can get the next batch of veggies on the go. We are ahead on food, especially now we've only got three people to cook for. But, uh, honestly, I would rather have Marco here. There we are. That is the last fertilizer. That is all well and good. Let's go and get up there. Now, I am going to wait until we've got this water before we set up the veggies. Simply because it takes so long for vegetables to be to be made. So, we really do want to capitalize on it. Have a look at what I've brought. Have you, have you brought happiness? Because we're in dire need of that right now. Uh, well, I've got loads of moonshine that I can trade. Um, Alright. Well... I'll I'll trade for pretty much everything you've got. Uh, right, I'm going to get rid of some of this then, if it's too good. Um, hmm. I would rather work out exactly where the line is for two of these. Can we have any more? We can. So that was worth doing. Okay, that's a deal. We'll also deal a little bit more. We'll take the rest of this. There we go. One of these. One of these. We'll fill the rest up with this, perhaps. Let's take these away. No. There we go. That's not too bad. Maybe one of these? No. Okay, well, uh, I'm interested in this deal. Let's uh, go ahead and trade. And finally, we'll put this on the table. And we'll see if we can clean up the remainder of your supplies. Won't do try harder. Fair enough. Let's uh, start pulling these down until it will do. There we go. That is our deal. Honestly, I'm completely content to trade that. That is an awful lot of building materials. Yes, deal. Okay, you can head off now. Thanks, mate. Gotta get back to my folks. Yes, yes, I'm sure you do. Do take care. 
Uh, we'll uh, quickly get down here, create... No, actually, you're going down to sleep. Pavle? Uh, no, 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 no. Exit. You you go ahead and sleep. Pavle, let's, let's get up there. We need two more water filters. We want to get those going. We want a little bit of extra fuel. Pull up Bruno. I think Bruno's probably going to just stay there for the rest of the day, honestly. Because he's just not feeling well. And that makes perfect sense. Um, let's go ahead and get an extra three. So it's going to take 2.5 hours to do this. But we'll have all the things uh, necessary for us to go ahead and uh, get water tomorrow as well. And we... Ooh, it's getting cold. Maybe we'll get a little bit more fuel. Now, apparently, we can just click on this multiple times, load more fuel into the fire, and it will work. I am certain I tried that previously, and it failed. But uh, apparently, I didn't try it well and hard enough. So, uh, we'll have to see. Now, we should have enough water to get this on the go. So, let's go ahead and get... There we are. Perfect. Set that up, and then we'll get back to this immediately. Good old Pavle, it looks like you are going to be the one heading out tonight, by the way. Uh, don't want to alarm you or anything, but... Yeah. Uh, without without Marco, you're the next best scavenger, I would say. Simply because your skill of fast running is more suited to working on scavenging than it is working in the home. Whereas Bruno is a cook, Marin is a builder, neither of these skills particularly scream out scavenger material. But we're not doing too bad. Other, in terms of our home, we have all we need. I, I'm, I, re, I remain impressed with how much we managed to get going. And this was largely because of Marco's work. If we are able to survive, it will be because of Marco. I can't believe it. Yesterday he was with us, and now, no, neither can I. Alas. All right, there we go. Let's get all of this set up with the last few moments that we've got left. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to set up that anytime soon, but, uh, oh well. And you know what? We've also lost our axe. That just occurred to me. Marco obviously died with his tool on him, so... Damn and blast. Right. Whilst you've got some time, quickly check on this for me. Right, okay. Let's have a quick look. We've got more atrocities committed by the military. This morning, a mortar shell exploded in the crowded Pogger in the marketplace, killing and wounding many people. We've also got people are scouring the streets and abandoned houses for everything that can be eaten, burned, or traded. That's pretty much all we needed to know. All right, get the last one up and running. Uh, can I get you up to make an axe in time? I'm really not certain. I would like to send Pavle out with an axe. Possibly a shovel, I don't know. Depends where we're going to be sending him, really. What can we make? We can make an axe. We can indeed make an X. Uh, you know what? Yeah, make one. I'm not sure you're going to have enough time, though. And that is quite unfortunate, to say the very least. Okay, the night is here. All right, then. Okay, well, you're going out to scavenge. I'm really quite sorry about this, Bruno and Marion, but you're both going to have to be guarding tonight. I know, I know, it is it is rough. Some food, some meds, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts. I I don't think we're ready to go back there yet. A hotel, huge amounts of food, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts, possible trade, caution advised. City hospital, lots of food, lots of meds, huge amount of parts, caution advised. Shout school, eh, pretty much nothing there now. The small apartment building is one of the only places we haven't been yet. This old apartment building is owned by an elderly couple and their son. They are still around. Some are managing to fend off looters. They probably have supplies like food and meds, but won't be willing to trade with us. We can try to steal or take them by force. Lock. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to descend to that. That would be a horrible legacy for Marco to leave behind. No, we're going to go to the one place where there is danger. You know, extreme amounts of danger, and we're just gonna have to hope. We're gonna have to be very, very careful in here. <sighs> yeah, I don't think there is much choice. We're we're, we're on the way. Um, we do not have, however, a. We have the saw blade. We can use that. We also have a crowbar, which we can possibly use. I could take the gun with the ammo. 
But I would rather leave that for our defenders. Um, yeah, we're going to take the crowbar. We'll use the crowbar as a weapon if we have to. I think that would be the best way to do it. Okay, Pavle. We're lacking on space, and I'm still not ready to return to the brothel, even though probably it is the best place for us to go back to. I'm not sure, having had a raid already, basically by marker, whether they'd be on heightened state of alert, but uh, we're going back to the warehouse for now. We're going we're gonna to wait a little longer before we try to uh, head back to the brothel. I'm not, not ready yet. Right, let's be quiet. Ooh. Something just happened down there. Let's find out what just happened. Are they going through? Yes, it does look like they are. Okay. Let's close that door behind us. Let's try not to make any noise. Once again, we're in a position where we need to be very, very cautious of everything we do. All right, let's go through. If only you were a little bit quieter, because I think even just walking around makes noise. Let's give them a little bit more time. I know you will move eventually. I'm certain of it, in fact. And Pavle is sad. He's in, in no state to mess around. What's this? What are these icons? Are these like bash through an attack or something? I think it may be. Or use the door as cover, perhaps. Okay, let, let's have a look. What's happening? Where have they gone? Are they already on the move? I think perhaps they are. Okay, good. Uh-oh. Right, let's move. Close this door behind you. And keep moving. Right. We want to get down here. Once he moves over there, that'll be our cue to try and uh, saw through this door, I think. Good scavenge mode. Because there's nowhere for me to hide down here easy. Right, he's on the move. Now is our chance. Go, go, go. This is taking a big risk, but this is the only chance I think we have to get through this door. And there is something to hide just beyond it. There we go. Well done. Now, what are we going to find in here? Please be an electronic part. We are still desperate for those. No. Okay, well, you know, meds are, meds are good as well, especially with Bruno being a little bit poorly right now. But let's move out once again. We want to get through here quickly. That's right. And close the door behind. It's not easy to get water these days. What do you mean? You're raiding aid convoys. Of course it's easy for you guys to get water, you scallywags. Well, maybe we could get up there. Right, he's on the move. That means it's our turn to be on the move. Is there somewhere over yonder? I believe there is someone over here, or at least there was when Marco came past us last time. No, not yet. Alright. Apparently there isn't. Alright, well... Uh, Oh, 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 in you go. <laughs> Alright, let's be careful then. There's another door up there. Okay, we've got one, two people. Is there a third? No. If we have to, crowbars will be used. Maybe not quickly. Let's, let's be cheeky and quickly scavenge as much as we can. Only trash here. That's really not good. Alright, come on then. We've got a little bit of time, I think, before he comes out again. We can hide in there. We've got a couple of things. Really? Nothing? How disappointing. The moment he starts to make a move, we're ducking out of the way. Right, we've got food. We've got lots of good things, actually. We're going to take from here as well. Let's see what we've got. Oh, wow, okay. We'll take this. We'll take everything we can. All of it. And that's pretty much all we can store now. Uh, okay. Is there a hiding place in there? No, there is not. I wonder if there's a way out down there. There may be. Though, you know what? We know that there's a way out back this way. So perhaps I should head that way. We've got someone over there. Is he going to move? We would really like it if he did. We're ticking t down time right now. I need you to be gone, please. So that we can vacate the premises. Ah, drat. 
Oh, okay, you're on the move. Where are you going? This is a rock and a hard place. Perhaps I should have hidden there and then tried to see if there was a way out at the back there. There may have been. Time is really quickly ticking down. I, This is going to be horrible if Pavle is left outside. Right, go, Pavle. Right, now, now, now. Don't run, obviously, but go quickly is the uh, key here. We haven't got a lot of time. Right, let's have a peek through here. We'll see if he's over there. There he is. We can we can kind of see him. Though how we can see him, I'm not really sure, but we can. Perhaps we could go through now. I'll wait. We'll wait. We're going to have to move quickly when we move, but we can wait for now, I think. Go on, leave. That's right. I won't hope I won't have to burn this book. Uh, see, they do have some, you know, concerns that almost make them human, and yet at the same time, the fact that they're just basically raiding aid convoys. No. I wonder if there are any maids left in the bath cabinet. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh my lord, we've got to, we're going to have to literally run the moment he's gone. Oh no, no, why did you come this way? Why of all places did you come? This way, right, go. Right, we're going to have to have you go, right, like, right now. And you're going to have to run, run to exit. No, 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 wrong way, wrong way, absolutely wrong way. Keep going, keep going. Run to exit, run. Are you going to make it out? I don't know if you will. This is going to be really, really close. I think you did, with like 10 seconds to spare. My lord, Pavle, that was cutting it fine. You're certainly not Marco. You can't get in and out of there like a ghost, but you did at least get in and out. Oh, tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. Indeed you did, Pavle. Indeed you did. Right, we've got some medicine, some extra stuff for Bruno, basically. Some extra tinned meat. If only those children had come, like, a day later. Ah, oh, that is that is kind of hard to, to bear, really. But that is it for this episode. A bit of a short one, but uh, we are... The, the whole day and whole night tends to be around 20 minutes, but uh, I don't like stretching the episodes out to 40 minutes long. I know there are a couple of people who have a hard time watching an episode if it ends up being around that length. So uh, we'll cut it off here. And in the next episode... Hopefully, we'll be able to get some new tools for Pavle to take out. Maybe we'll go and hunt for some timber and some fuel, but we'll have to make that decision then. But that is it from me. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.